But Jack's getting on with the... Good morning, uh, we're back at, in Ebervale. Just turn this um, fan down a moment. We're back in, in Ebervale now and we're gonna be getting on with the coping stones this morning. Um, but I'm a bit disappointed this morning, massively disappointed. Well, the reason I'm disappointed is, as you know, I work really hard and I know you, you guys know it then, you guys and girls and everybody watching the channel, you know how hard I work and Alison, my wife works in the business. Um, and like all of you, you know, we, we we grind out every day, it's blood, sweat and tears and certainly working in weather conditions like we're working in at the moment, it's hard work. And as you know, I produce a lot of content and um, just, uh, Well, to be honest, I'm just disappointed. I'm a little bit angry this morning. There's a, a company that I help out a lot and uh, they've been okay with me. They've been absolutely fine. Uh, but the balance is lost because basically they've been using uh, my uh, my content to uh, basically make sales for themselves. And um, there was nothing ever agreed. Um, and they, they're a new company. So it's just like a company, like another landscape company using my products. Not, it's not a landscape company in this case. And I don't want to get into the uh, the nitty gritty of all of it, but basically another company is using my videos, which is my IPO, um, and it's just not on. It's, it's my property, and uh, they shouldn't be using it. And the fact is that I could make lots and lots of sales from. So um, the best diplomatic way of going round it, but they never even credit us in the video, which is that's just not good in itself anyway. So what do we do? Well, here we go. Uh, this is the coping stones that we've cut down to one by ones to sweep along this wall. But what we're going to do, we're not going to cut them on both sides because sometimes when you have when you haven't got an exact geometric shape and the shape of the wall uh, is just on a curve, just like when you're doing those road curbs, we're just going to cut on one side. So we've got those all, all lined up now. So I'm just going to scribe along the one end here like this, just with a, with a screw in this case. There you are, there's your mark. You're not gonna lose that mark. And then that mark will be exact where we want it. And it's, it's precision cutting really. And the ruby, the ruby cutter, as I was saying yesterday, this is cutting that slate paving really, really well. Um, it doesn't look good up here today. It's uh, foggy, miserable, drizzling. So we're gonna get on with it now. Jack's getting on with the uh, the first cut there. Now, as you can see what he's done, he started one end and just marked across uh, to get the line marked out before the water starts on the line. So that's when we're, what works well is when we're able to scribe it with a screwdriver, like uh, with, a, with a screw, just to scratch it across, it leaves the mark on there. You're not gonna leave the, you're not gonna lose the mark. There are those things called, that's good. See how he's quickly cut that. Oh, no, oh, no. Pick that up, Jack. Just going to show you what Jack's got there. But you can use those markies, and uh, they um, they don't. The line doesn't disappear in the water. What um, what Jack's got there? They're maintaining some social distancing. Social distancing here. There's there's a cut. How did it cut, Jack? What, what was it like going through? Nice and soft. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't struggle. Not like porcelain. No, it's porcelain's really rock hard, and uh, yeah. people know that slate is uh, slate is is quite soft, but. This is quite quite a Sweet dense product, stuff. isn't it? Right, okay, thank you. So there you go. We're starting to get the cuts in now. Nice tight joint. He's just dry laying them out at the moment. But we've got those to cut. Well, 
got the muck on the on the wall now, ready for the coping stone. But as you can see, Jack is getting all these slurried on, getting the slurry on them, getting them ready. If you look over here, he's got the slurry on these here as well. So, and he's going to do these in, in a moment. And then we're going to bed all these on, get to the line, and um, get them on, get it done. Making sure that we've got a full bed all the way. We've got a nice thick bed at the moment, but we can just tap that down, and uh, hopefully it'll be perfect. I can't believe that somebody actually stole my content. Because they did. They didn't just share it. Sharing something is okay, but when they actually put it on, on their flat platform. On their flat platform. Flat platform. Platform. Well, we've got the Jack and I, and Eloy. We've got the one by ones on. We've cut them. There are the odd one that just stands out because the shape of the wall, the cut at the angle may be a little bit longer, but we can deal with that. That's not a problem at all. But look, we've got to clean it up granted, okay? So don't panic. You've got the one by ones that run all the way around here, all the way around, and it sweeps into this straight. And we've got the shape looking really good, and I'll show you it in a moment. But look how it runs down, nice and straight. A beautiful Brazilian black slate coping stone in a two by one with a 50 mil overhang on top of that black wall now because we've got to render it at some point in the near future. It's amazing really, uh, there's three of us on this job and we've really maintained social distance. You'll notice on the video it appears that we're close to each other but you know, there are times when we are and we, we can't help it. But the fact is that we are thinking about it all the time and it, um, I'm proud of the boys for doing it. But um, it's horrible, isn't it? <laughs> we've got to level that off. That's not a problem at all. But we've got the coping stone on the wall. We're good to render uh, with that at some point in the near future, not far away. But we've got an addition now. We have to return the wall around the front on this project here. So we're going to get the foundations, put some steel in, for that today but now I'm hungry well look at this absolutely perfect new concrete foundation perfect width perfect distance nice and wide and I've left Jack and Eloy to get on with that and it's absolutely spot on and then on top of it and then on top of it there we are look at that They've cleaned off all the coping stones. It'll need another wash, granted, but look at that. Looking good. Nice sweep, nice and clean. Let's go and talk to the man himself. Goggles. Jack, done a good job of the, uh, the foundation credits when it's due. And how did uh, Eloy get on with it? Yeah, he was good. He, he played his part? Yeah. Yeah? Mixing, shoveling. Yeah? No cleaning up. And talking? Oh yeah, I can do that. Well, just giving a bit of a wash down. Uh, this is the picture framing that we're putting around here. I hope the water hasn't got to it now, but it's looking good. I just love the, the shades and the colour um, with this Brazilian slate. Not all of it's exactly the same. You think it is when it's in the pack, but you can see how the shades differ. Even two contrasting colours there. Uh, amazing product. The steps are looking at the part and um, got the coping stones off that was on that was the main thing today so pleased about that so we will endeavor to push on with that but what I wanted to show you was that the boys got the concrete in here so I think we'll do a little bit of block work tomorrow tie that in and get that finished off ready for the step on this side so it's all coming together so there we are and we've had better weather today it's supposed to be 60 70 percent chance of rain but if you look, it looks terrible. <laughs> it looks like snow again, but uh, it's been okay.
I like working with a plum today. A plum today. A donut tomorrow. Why oh, you get so close to the cat? I can't get in there. Move it out. I'm trying to move it